Ryan Sheridan, drummer Arthur. Welcome to Independence. Thank you very much. First time? Very first time. First time, yeah. great. They'll go easy on you. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Ah, I'm looking forward to it. Guys, a crazy year. I mean, album went to number two all yeah. over the radio. Has it gone as well as you could have expected? No, I didn't expect it. We didn't expect it that much, but we didn't. I think we've just been busy and busy and busy. Like, it kind of paid off for us, you know, to have yeah. it number two. It was like, you know, we've kind of like, we're like, oh, okay. It's been Did, up. Were you kind of a bit gutted you didn't get the number one? Like, uh, no, not really. I was. Wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Raisin. No, 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 no. I mean Adele. He, you, you know, oh, she was. I mean, like she's amazing. So, but uh, no, no, no. It's, two is good enough. Yeah. And the record went gold a few weeks ago, didn't it? Yeah, it went gold about a month ago there. So, didn't expect that now. Yeah. For a while, so uh, yeah, all been good. It's been very good. And like, you, like you say, you just seem to have kind of. I suppose in the last year really just kind of blown up. You're like, what, what were you doing before that? Were you just have you been always with the last few years singing and playing? Or no, what? no, no. I didn't. I wasn't playing music. I didn't. Uh, I wasn't playing music for four years. Really? And then it was only a year and well, nearly nearly two years ago. Arthur yeah. rang me and said that they want to go busking, so we went busking. Then year after and, four years, year and a half, a year and a half ago, yeah. yeah. So and, like, how did it spiral to what it is today? Like, we just we just um, the manager so. My now manager seen us on the street and just uh, put us into festivals and done this, done that, and it just started spiraling. Sounds like a movie movie script, yeah, isn't it? Very, very lucky, like very, very lucky. So, and um, you, you were just uh, you were supporting Brian Adams there recently, weren't you? Yes. How was that? That was amazing. Brian Adams, I mean, he's a legend, isn't he? Yeah. Did you get to meet him and have a chat with him? He came into the dressing room, you know. I got starstruck when he came in. We were in the dressing room. And he just popped his head into the door and said hello. And like, Jesus. But uh, yeah, he was really cool, loved the music, he stayed around for the show. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was really cool. And all the band were sound as well. Yeah. That's a brilliant way for you to like get more fans as well, like getting massive support slots like that, I suppose. Yeah, no, no we've got like, great one, feedback. One, from... one night brings us uh, like about a thousand uh, new fans, you know? Yeah. So it's it's really, great. really worth it. Like. And, um, like, I suppose just to give a quick mention, you played for Obama earlier in the summer. Yeah. Was that the most nervous you've ever been playing a gig? I think, well, for me it was anyway because, well, we're in the one room with like the likes of Daniel Day Lewis and Brendan Gleeson and Stevie Ray and, yeah. you know, all in the one small room. So even that was enough for me. I was kind of like in awe and shock over that, never mind anything else. So, and then of course with Barack Obama. So you're not supposed to meet all these people yeah. in one room at one time. You meet them over a span of a career. Did so you, it was a bit. Two few words at Obama? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we met him afterwards and shook his hand. And cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Good really cool. What was he going to say? Like, like I said, um, all over the radio, um, like every single seems, seems to be flying it on, on every radio station in the country. Is it like that feeling when fans are singing it back to you must be just I always wanted like that. the goosebumps, isn't it? <laughs> I always wanted that when I was a kid. Yeah. I wanted people singing back the song, so <laughs> it's a great feeling. It's a great yeah. feeling. And like, I suppose, What's the plan now? Is it just like constant touring for the rest of the year? Or are you writing new stuff or what? I'll be touring till the end of the year and then I'll get stuck in to start writing some new stuff. And we have a, we have a big show coming up on November 5th. Yeah. So that'll be my biggest own show to date. So I have a lot of things in store for that. Like, So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that gig. And then after that, I think we're just I'm going to start constantly and writing new stuff. Great stuff. Listen, best of luck with the gig tonight. Thanks and thanks a million for talking to us. Thanks a million. Thank Appreciate you. It. Cheers.